Welcome, guys, to a special episode of, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why did I say episode? It's not an episode, it's a video! It's a video, for Christ's sake! Learn your English! <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of bad in grammar. Anyway, what should we talk about today? Bunnies. Bunnies are cute and fluffy, and sometimes evil. Like the ones from Ib. Those things are evil. Evil. I played the game, it was creepy. The creepiest game ever. Wait, no. The creepiest game ever is Witch. Apparently the scariest game ever is Slender. You know I haven't played it yet. It doesn't look scary at all. Sure, I'm scared of like the horror music. Like, ah! When that horror music comes on and you're like, uh, then that one little thing that he's right there and then he goes, ah! Ah! For me, I'm like, Ooh. then the rest is like, oh, hi. He's gonna rape me in the butthole. He's gonna rape me in the butthole. He's gonna rape me in the butthole. That should be a song. Rape me in the butthole. Rape me in the butthole. No, don't do that, guys. No. Stay away. <laughs> no, there's nothing. That's, that's not what I'm talking about. Uh. Yeah, right now it's just some. Monster for 3 survival gameplay on Village. I don't have the map pack, so don't bother me to get them saying like, Oh, it's so amazing, you should get it. Like, do you think I made of money? My new Plants vs. Zombies series is out. It continues on and on and on. It'll be about, I'm guessing, 50 parts for the storyline. I guess... 20 or 30, maybe a bit more for the mini games. And I just unlocked this gun, the PvP 99. It's pretty good, I guess. Good in multiplayer. Not really in survival. <laughs> yeah. And Plants vs. Zombies series, I'm, it's not going out that much well. Every time, the only time it gets any views, I put PewDiePie or Nova's name in it. I don't know why it does that. I don't know why people are attracted when I put PewDiePie or Nova in any of my videos. They're like, ooh, I have something to say about that. And something that they don't like, and they're like, this is our bullshit. Or, you're retarded gay. Like, seriously, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Because you'd be just as bad as me when I try to, you know, make a video that's actually decent. Not under bullshit. I'm trying to be nice with my videos. But with you people being having those mean comments? I don't know what to do with that. Like, really. Show dogs in your area. Do you guys have nothing better to do than to make people feel bad and make to make you feel better? I mean, that is the stupidest thing in the world. Who whoever does that must get freaking like Reality check, that's not cool. That's commerce gonna bite you in the ass. Real hard. And of course, I was being a little snappy pro here. For a little bit. <laughs> Didn't know how I got that one. Really. Don't be a smart ass and think that making others feel bad to make you feel better is okay. Because it's not. And I completely missed. I missed again. I mean, come on, this. The hit marker, like. The AI Pathfinder is. Ugh. It's terrible sometimes with the sniper. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, for the L11. I forget the name. Basically, it's a duplicate of the L90, L, L, L96A1. I can't remember the name sometimes, it's just too complicated. Like, eh, nah, what? <laughs> That's my reaction, I'm trying to remember the name. Like, eh, what? Uh, yeah. I really wish people would just treat people nicely, not treat people nicely, then they'll feel nice. Not 
to make them feel bad to make you feel good. That's not good at all. That would be a lot of people trying to kill you. I know someone who does that, and I'm not really. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, what was the word? Ah. Basically, it's not nice whatsoever. And, uh, not much people like people who make people bad to make them feel better. And if you have a friend that does that, try to get them to stop. Like, this is not right at all. It's insulting and utterly stupid. And I thought those could be helicopters. Is it helicopters? No, it's not. I always think round 5 is helicopters, and it's not. Hmm, it sucks. I'm always prepared, like, and I hit the cam. And all I get is, like, hostiles inbound. And I. It doesn't say helicopters, and I'm like, shit. That's what I did last time on Resistance. I thought it was gonna be, like, round 5 helicopters. Now, I'm, I mean, I'm also uploading a video called. Mama for 3 survival on resistance. It, I actually say in like a little caption that it was, I thought it would be hot helicopters on round 5. Apparently it's round 6. Which is kind of uneasy considering that everyone's prepared for round 5 and it's not even then. I don't know where the hell this guy was, but he's trying to run away. Run away! And he didn't work. Because I got ya. Now it was helicopters on round six. Excuse me. <laughs> Let me get you in my brisk. I always have like a pop or type of food with me in my run in my videos most of the time. Mostly the ones without commentary. And more news. My Nico Drash Christine series also is not going well. Please, guys, take the time out of your day and just, just watch them. Probably give me some feedback on the videos. See how I can make them better. It's not really the best right now. Just you know, I can't make them masterpiece like you guys wanting. Like, guys, the quality you're getting is the quality you're gonna get. I'm not gonna change it because I really don't know how. Really, this is actually good quality because I'm not using the debut video capture software. I'm using my Pinnacle 3D14 software, which makes any gameplay video or any video in it in the best quality it can be. But the uploading time, whenever I upload a video from Pinnacle 3D14, is ridiculous. It usually takes over. 3,000 minutes. Like, I don't even know how long 3,000 minutes is, but that is ridiculous. 300 minutes is like 8 hours. Imagine 3,000. My god. The least I would go for is probably um, 300. Well, no, not 300. Uh, I will probably go for like... Uh, uh, 400 most likely. No, not 400. Why is it 400? I'm so stupid. I mean, like, at least. Okay, I'll go for 500, but never 400. Uh, what am I saying? I'm so stupid. And I'm just camping here. Like, those bitches are gonna come right into my name, line of fire. Guess what? They were. Because they're so stupid, the AI is so stupid, they can't even figure out how to get around that. Until like, half of them are dead, they're like, Oh, I'm going around here! Like, for Christ's sake. The AI, the AI system in this game is either broken, or completely stupid. Because they just run into my line of fire, like, they're suicidal AI, like, I see him with my line of fire, like, <laughs> They're into my line of fire, which is kind of funny. But they don't know how to hide. They don't. They. They don't. They try to kick. Oh, excuse me. They don't take cover. They just, they're just out in the open. They hide for cover for like a minute, maybe. Then run out and don't even search for cover again. 
It's not it's the AI in this game, it's so brain dead, it's funny. Funny yet stupid. What else is there uh, I can talk about? I've been getting subscribers slowly lately. Like, I'm at 26 right now. It's hard to get subscribers because you it's hard to get the right video. And the reason for me buying the Desert Eagle at this time is unknown. And another thing, when the AI blocks the pathway, which is completely retarded and stupid. Like seriously, why would why would they program an AI to block a doorway for me? Like I know they're trying to work for you, but when you're like right here at the doorway and you're right in front of them, you can't get in the move because they're having a ride to right in front of their faces so I can't kill them. It's almost impossible. And it's utterly frustrating when you have to get through to get like a new uh like uh kill streak. But not a kill streak, it's like a I don't know what it's called, but basically, if you try to get that little specialty thing with the paramissiles and all, they're usually blocking the pathway to it. And you have to go all the way around the long way to go get it. Which is really bad when it comes to surviving here in survival. And my little, my full on review for Mon Reference 3 Survival, I know they're trying to be close to zombies and Call of Duty Black Ops zombies. And I know they're trying to be just as close to that, but they already failed to do that. Because zombies don't run out and have massive difficulty spikes right at the beginning, which this game, Survival, kind of does sometimes. Like, even at round one, sometimes utterly, like, uh, sometimes some difficulty spikes that pop up. And this little MP5 sucks. I don't know why I picked it up. I actually want to pick it up because my thing is running out of ammo. It's good when it comes to racking out points, but when you actually get a kill, it'll probably take you at least a clip. For any enemy. Other than the suicide bombers, which you can use any weapon, they'll be down and around with the um, C4 on their chest, like beeping. Just gotta shoot him once, and they're like. You don't even have to shoot this C4 to set it off. Like, if you shoot him anywhere, it goes off. Like, that's kind of stupid. Why can't it just be like you shoot the C4, then it starts to tick? But if you shoot the head where the C4 is not on, he'll be dead. The C4 won't go off unless you go to his dead body and shoot it. Here's my little trick of trying to take out a juggernaut. I fail to do that. I'm like, where is he? I got him! Nah, Phil. He's right there, too. There's a massive difficulty spike when it comes to get finding juggernauts. There's a massive di difficulty spike. It takes you more than, like, five clips, maybe, to kill him. The best way to kill him is with an airstrike, a paramissile. Well, that's it, actually. Claymores, uh, I don't really buy them much, but... I think they work too. And C4s. Basically anything explosive. Will, anything explosive will kill it. It will kill him. But if you want to use clips, you need flashbangs. To make him go, uh, 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 make him out blind. And the reason why I said 23 before, for how long I've survived on Village, that was just me being lucky. It was all by myself. I was just really lucky that I actually got that far without dying. It's hard to get that. It's hard to get to 20 here on survival. On any. On any map by yourself. It is hard as hell. With most of our, with the cooperation with one of your friends. You might get to around 30 or something. Maybe 25. But to do it by yourself is almost impossible. And it's, it's really impossible to try doing it on the harder levels. Like if you're doing a Bakara, you're screwed. I really don't know why people like those maps. 
Do they want to get killed over and over again? I think so. So, yeah. About Modern Warfare 3. If I had to rate, if I had to rate Modern Warfare 3 out of 1 to 10, I would rate it 7. No, it's not 7. 6. It's slightly above average. Guess it has its flaws sometimes. Like the like I mentioned a few of them. There are a bunch of glitches in the game and there are a bunch of hackers. Modern Warfare 3 is starting to become the old Modern Warfare 2 when everyone was hacking Modern Warfare 2. Now people are trying to attack Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, and World at War. You know, World at War is, I'm not sure if it's older or newer than uh, Modern Warfare 2. But I've seen more hackers than ever on uh, World at War. Which is really sad. Why are even hack why are hackers trying to mess us up? Are they I know they're trying to help us with like uh being the best person in the whole Call of Duty game. But but it just ruins the experience. I got hacked. I don't know how on World of War. No, I'm not hacked anymore, it was on another account. So basically, my war war was uh, hacked. I got everything I wanted. I was like, yes! I looked on the attachments. The ones that I locked from the hack were locked. Like, the attachments were locked. I was like, what the hell? I did what I told me. Well, I did what told me. I did what it told me to do. I asked the person that hacked me, and he's like, oh. Why don't you have the attachment? I'm like, I don't know. I did everything. I went back to his lock because but he said like, come back to my lobby. Let's we'll see if you can fix this. Fix this. I did. I went back to his lobby to fix this. Fix that little problem. It stayed like that. I tried to get attachments. It's like attachments unlocked. I'm like, awesome. Then he closed the game so we can check if it worked. I checked my credit class. Go into my attachments with the one weapons that were unlocked. Still locked. And he's like, well, I guess you're out to stay like this. I don't know what to do. Really. That was, that was really, really bad. Really sad. Bad and sad. Hmm. Wow, we've been talking for almost 18 minutes. Wonderful. 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 First we were talking about bunnies, then it was people were like saying like uh doing the uh, make people bad to make them do better thing. Then it was a survival thing review, then it was Mama 3 review. Um nah, I, don't know. I don't know what to talk about now. Dogs. Dogs are sometimes cute, they're sometimes loyal, sometimes badass. But in survival in my Rock 3, they're total dicks. Because they're they'll get you in the cheaper shots and you won't even know if they were there or not. And they're always stacking you from every corner, every pathway. Every time you step forward, there's a dog right in front of you every time you go in survival when they're calling dogs. And it's funny how you can't get dogs in survival, but they can. Like that is really stupid. Why can't we call dogs? Why can't the player call the dogs themselves? Oh, why? Because the enemy has them and we're not allowed to? That if we chose dogs, we stop dogs when uh, their dogs came out and it doesn't work? How about this? How about when their dogs, their dogs are on, that dog option for us would be blocked. But for... Um, yeah, for when the dogs on our team are gone, the dog icon would be on the kill streak thing. You buy it, it's unlocked after the dogs on your team are gone, and you kill them all. You set them off, done. With no problem. Why can't we do that? Why can't they do that simple mechanic? 
Oh, because they're on budget. Oh, because they had a short timeline. The you had three years. We you know we had two years to make this game, and he couldn't figure out to put that in there. I swear, Infinity Ward's trying to make us die over and over and over and over again just to even get to round 20. Getting round 20 and easy is hard as hell. And this juggernaut, I just kept stunning him and he's like, whoa, whoa. He's falling over like he's drunk. Which is funny, actually. And I decided just to kill him because he's useless. I murdered my own, uh, soldier. I did that because he would have died anyway. And plus, he was the only one alive. So he would be dead within a few hits from other people. And I would be left alone, like I am now. And yeah. It wouldn't be nice. Now, it's these guys. These guys are fun to kill, but also annoying as hell. Sometimes they can be utterly frustrating. Takes like a couple clips to kill him, and yeah, they're done. The BB 90 M1 did kind of. Fun. I'm talking a bit quieter because I'm going to take faster. Ooh. Boom, chuckle like a boom, chuckle like a boom, boom, chuckle like a boom, chuckle like a boom. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit quiet, like as you see at the floor. They don't want to attract the attention. Mm. Alright. There we go. A bit more of a, uh, me talking kind of thingy. And I've been actually really into the game Plants vs. Zombies. I'm really into it now. At first I was like, yeah, this is stupid. I don't know if I got into it, like, man, this is awesome! Yeah, it is. Even people that don't really like Plants vs. Zombies will eventually like it. And people that like Challenge will definitely like it. Reason being that, uh... They have a massive variety of things to tackle with. You have multiple plants, multiple ways to kill the enemies. Which are zombies. And there is only one boss. The cheapest boss in the, all of gaming history, but it's a boss to actually think about. Not a boss to hack and slash and, until he's dead. Not like that. Since you have to think what he's gonna do. Because he has a fireball he can do, which he has to freeze up, or he has an ice ball. He has a flame too, which is the jalapeno pepper. Good work, I just spat on my thumb. So guys, what do you think is better? Uh, trying to make a comparison. Uh, who would you like more, Shepard or Ghost? Leave a comment below on who is better, Shepard or Ghost? Hmm, maybe they should make a rap battle about it. Like nice Peter and Epic Lord. They should. Commander Shepard versus... Uh, I don't know who Ghost is. Like, I don't know who, uh... I don't know what position he was, but... Person keeps coming up and down, up and down the stairs. It's like she's trying to, uh, yeah, it's a girl. She, it's like she's trying to uh, make marathons upstairs. And it's not my girlfriend. It, yeah, it's not my girlfriend. I don't. Um, 
Yeah. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, maybe because there's only five minutes left before my character finally gets shot down. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. There's only two or three of them. There's only like two guys, two of my guys left, which is bad. Should have you guys need to get more faster. This box is out no one. That actually made me jump when I played this. It's like when I played uh, this one, I was I freaked out. I was like, and my other guy just died. Which is bad. Is he dead yet? Yeah, he died. I was all alone. I think this is the last level I've done before I got killed. I think so. Either that or I got damn lucky and got to the next round. Right now I was struggling because I didn't know what I was going to do. I had no person, no one helping me. I was on my own with my own two assault rifles, which wouldn't last long. Because these guys are like. This, these guys' armor is like trying to go through, like, like uh, it's like trying to go through titanium, like weak titanium. That's how strong their armor is. It's like weak titanium, and already weak titanium is like, yeah, the, just as hard as like uh, solid metal. Solid metal, I think, is like a, has a bit of uh, titanium in it, so it's called weak titanium. That's what their body armor is made out of, I think. And here comes the jugs. Yeah, I gotta look at this, because I can't really see uh, what, uh... From recording from my little microphone, after from looking at, like, what around is, after literally, like, stare, like, out of this little box that has a gameplay going on, that's, like, literally go up to the screen to see what the hell around is, but now I know it's like three juggernauts. Which I think I managed to get by. Okay, one of them's dead. Two more left. I think my guys take care of one of them. I didn't have enough, I didn't have enough for that one. So I was like struggling, I was like, Get away from me! And there's that one, I was like, oh shit. I thought it was a dead man now, but nope, I managed to escape, I think they kill off one of them, and I'm just running away like a little, I'm just running away screaming like a bitch, because I knew I was done, and that guy, my my team wasn't even bothering with, they were, he was following me, they're like, huh, 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 where's the last one, and I'm thinking in my head, he's right behind me, he's right behind me, he's right behind me, you can see on the red dot he's following me, and my other guys aren't even doing shit, they're still at the cave, they're sitting taking a dump while I'm getting my ass kicked by a juggernaut. <laughs> That's how smart the AI is sometimes. You finally kill a boss type of enemy, then they finally decide to come over, they're like, where is he? And I'm like, look at the body, he's like, they're like, oh, sorry. That's like, that's... That's the way my, the AI team thinks. Like, your partner AIs will basically look like they're idiots. Because they'll sit there and the, they won't move to like a minute later or a minute or two later. Then they're like, uh, let's go over here. Like, for Christ's sake. I've never seen this dumb. I've never seen this mediocrely made AI. In any Call of Duty game, there was no AI. I've never seen this bad of AI ever since Call of Duty Black Ops. Yes, the AI on Call of Duty Black Ops was bad, but this is worse. Worse. It's bad enough Black Ops had dumbass AIs. But with this mediocre type of AI in Monitor for 3, where the person, your AI partner, doesn't move, like in survival, he doesn't move until like a minute or two later, which is completely absurd. So yeah, I might have to rethink this uh, rating of mine. It's sitting on a 5 and a 6. 
basically it's like a 5.5 .5 right now. It's half average, half slide above average. I'm giving this game um, a pretty, uh, yeah, I'm giving this game a pretty bad time when it comes to stuff uh, that was bad with it. The good stuff? Uh, the guns, the maps, the storyline, uh, the little kill shake rewards. Basically, it's like Modern Warfare. It's like, it's like they remade Modern Warfare 2. They slapped it on, gave it a new name. It says Modern Warfare 3. And they, of course, put in new maps and new guns and little shit and all. Which is basically what they did. And here I was done for. I was trying to kill him and I couldn't get a kill at all. I was like, yes, I can kill someone! Nah, I got shot. The best, Dead. And also, be sure to check out my latest video. I'll put one up every episode, and you better watch it. Alright, bye guys.